Well, hey guys, I'm still here, man. I had some people going, dude, it's been like five days, man. Where'd you go? Are you gone? No, man. I'm back. Mike Gross, youtube.com slash rocking guitar lessons one and rocking guitar lessons two and rocking guitar lessons.com. Um, you guys, you know, most of you probably know what's up. Um, I'll probably do a few tutorials on what's up. One of them, uh, you know, I've got to do technique and in the style of, and uh, we'll see, man. There's certain ones that uh, that I know I can still do in the style of, you know, probably, uh, well, I know I could do crew and, and uh, rat, and let's see, what else? I just got to be selective, Dio. So, um, but yeah. I had kind of a, a notification from uh, YouTube with some copyright stuff. And I gotta be careful, man. I wanna preserve what I got here. Um, so this is actually uh, gonna go on both channels. I'm back, and let's do this. Um, I've had, uh, been collecting up some requests, man, for for uh, Rocking Guitar Lessons 2 and 1, because I'm gonna put these on both channels. But uh, this one we're gonna do is uh, Sweet Picking and it's per request of hold on a second here um, quit 293 and Angelo riffs okay and I think a couple other people you guys were really wanting the sweet picking let's do this um, I have some on rocking guitar lessons one you know check it in the search bar but this one's not on there so we're gonna jump into it make sure you tune standard and uh, here I'll come in close and show you what's up. Um, this is an A minor, and I'm just taking um, certain notes out of it and changing on the high E string. So we have slow. It's That's what it is. Um, we're gonna look at this into in four quarters, okay? The first one, this is probably one of my first uh, sweeps that I learned. And you want to start on fret 12 on the A string. And you're going to pick that down and hammer on to the 15th fret. Fingering is important as well as the picking here. Um, sometimes you can swap, swap out fingers, but this one is going to make the most sense to do with these fingers without having to move your, your hand too much. You're going to hammer on, let that pick rest on that D string. And then bar the 14th fret on the D and G, but shift it. Actually, I shouldn't say bar. You're going to go like, and then flatten the knuckle down. Kind of roll it. Middle finger 13B. These are all downstrokes, except for the ham hammer on. And then 12th fret high E for his finger. And then pinky 17 on the high E. You're going to upstroke that. And then pull it off to the 12th. So when you go up here, don't lift that off. So. Now we're going descending with it. 13B, middle finger, uh, 14G, try to shift the knuckle up to 14D, pinky 15A, upstroke, so all these are upstrokes. Okay. And a few routes you can go with it, you know, you can, you can pull off and then hammer coming back or you can alternate pick the last two notes on the A string. Either one. We're going to pick that, in this case, 12A, and just start it over. Okay, until you get to the 12E, and then go middle finger 13E, just pretend that's your 17 and everything else is going to be the same. You're going to pull it off to 12, 13B, 14 G and B, 15A, and those are all upstrokes. And then downstroke on the A again, and start it over. So we're at the midpoint. And then the next one is uh, start it over. And then pinky 15 high E. So we're just changing from 17 to 13 to 15, and then we're going to go back to 13. So pick 15th fret, upstroke. Once you get there, pull it off and then run it up, descending, just like you did the other ones. 
and then go back to this one. 13th fret, high E, pull off to 12, and finish it descending, coming back. So we have... Okay, so um, take your time with it, you know, you don't want it to sound like a chord, in other words, you don't want to go... You know, it's almost hard to, to, to make it sound like a chord in this one, but that's not always the case. When you do uh, three string arpeggios, it's real easy to make it sound like a chord. Try to keep all the strings individual, okay? I'm Mike Gross, RockingGuitarSystems.com, and you know, I've been working on the content for the website, uh, Byron, my manager web builder, all that stuff. He's been really, really, really working hard, and I've been out here doing lessons for that, so um, I've got to get that. We're looking at it real, real soon. I know you're sick of me saying that, but, you know, I'm picky, Byron's picky, but it's to your benefit. $25 a month will get you in. Uh, we're running some specials on it for the first month. I don't even know everything yet. Byron's just running. He's running with it, and I trust him. He's a really, really smart business guy, and uh, some really cool offers for you guys going on with it. So watch for that. I hope that you guys do become premium members. Moves real slow, you know, nothing gets left, you know, uh, where you're like, whoa, what did he say, or what, what's he doing? You'll be able to catch all that stuff. Um, I'm still teaching on Skype. I will continue to teach on Skype. Skype name is Rock and Guitar Lessons. It's $50 an hour or $25 for a half an hour. Add me only if you're going to be taking lessons. It's the fastest way, man, to get the, the fastest results, and we can work on whatever you want to work on. It doesn't matter. Songs, anything like that. Okay, so uh, if that's something that fits your budget, hit me up. Be watching for the website, and like I said, because it is coming soon, keep your requests coming for in the style of, techniques, and you know, we're in this uh, on this journey, man, to become better guitar players. So although... I got really bummed what happened with Rocking Guitar Lessons 1. The channel's still there, it's not going nowhere, and I'm going to keep doing lessons on both channels. But, um, you know, it, it kind of scared me, man, because I put a lot of time into that, so I, I do got to be careful. Um, I'm not saying I'll never do how-tos, I just have to be very, very selective on them because, um, you know, certain record companies and management companies um, are seeing my stuff now. It's kind of a double-edged sword, it's good and bad. My name's getting out there, but, um, you know, we can speculate the why and all that stuff. You know, the way I see it is I'd feel honored if people were doing my songs. It's uh, free advertisement. These lessons are free to you guys. It uh, advertises the artist, um, you know, and if it's an older artist, it appeals to a younger generation. But, you know, I got slammed on a couple different issues, so there's certain, certain uh, bands I can't touch at all doing. Um, two of them in particular, but they ain't gonna stop me, man. I ain't going nowhere. I just gotta be, you know, I gotta plan out things how I do them a little different. So keep your requests coming in the styles of, man. You can even be specific as to which song. If it's ACDC, Thunderstruck, you know, if you want something in the style of that, you know, I'll make it to where it's not an infringement thing, but you're getting the technique and the style of that, okay? We're in this to get better as players, right? So let's do it. I'll talk to you later. Mike Gross, RockingGuitarLessons.com. See ya. By the way, neck pickup. A lot of bands use, a lot of guitar players use that for the sweeps. Gives you more of that uh, deeper tone as you're playing. You don't have to. Experiment with your pickups. It really comes down to what do your ears like the most, okay? Now I'll try it on the bridge. Now I like this better. Yeah.